Chapter 1. I Want a Divorce. You are listening at FameTV.info. Chapter 1. I Want a Divorce Translator. Callus Editor. Vreeth at 10 a.m. on March 28, 1587, in a special sanatorium hidden inside the Indy Empire, a man who'd been sleeping for three years finally opened his eyes. His first sentence was. Where is Furin? The old housekeeper standing beside him replied, Furin has already left. Today is the last day of his compulsory marriage. Furin couldn't wait to meet his blind date, the little star that he likes. What was his name again? Anyways, he's very cute, and his beast's body is also very furry. Fuck. I have the most fur in the galaxy, Zone he cruelly suppressed the coming words. He sat up and clenched his teeth, get him back for me. Zone he was tall and his posture was straight. Half of his blood was of imperial origin, he had a Chinese, western mixed face and a deep profile. His golden eyes were dignified and cold, turning sharp when angered. He looked tyrannical and haughty, like an angry king of beasts, making people feel terrified at a glance. He was the youngest five-dot-star general since the founding of the Indy Empire, had numerous medals and great military achievements, was the dream lover of many young men and women, and many dignitaries and nobles wanted to attract him. Once his name appeared, his enemies would cower. So far, nobody could surpass his military exploits, however, three years ago, as his spiritual strength advanced, a riot broke out in the empire. In order to save the royal heir, Zong he wounded and killed the enemy. After he returned, his spiritual power counterattacked, and he had fallen into a coma lasting to this day. Though he had just regained consciousness, his body had not yet fully recovered. Even so, people could feel the oppression emanating from him. This kind of aura that had been sharpened on the battlefield could not be underestimated. It had been three years. The captain of the escort standing to the side heard the marshal's command. His complexion chilled and he tensed. After he received his orders, he called for his soldiers and fiercely rushed out, zone he warned them with a harsh voice and a cold face. Don't frighten him. The captain staggered and thought to himself, he already dared to run away from his husband and give him a green hat. What else would be able to scare him? Half an hour later, Tang Wan looked at his sitting partner and wished that he could push him back down. He pressed back, why couldn't you wake up half an hour later? Just half an hour is enough. The empire's compulsory marriage period was only one year. In the last ten days of the compulsory period, a partner in the marriage could file for divorce, and as long as the other partner did not refuse within ten days, it was taken as an agreement to the divorce. Tang Wan applied for divorce ten days ago, and there was still an hour left. If Zong he didn't refuse, then they wouldn't have any kind of relationship with each other in the future. Tang Wan had a good plan. From then on, nobody would know that they had been married. Marshal Zong he didn't even know who he was. In the future, he would go on his own way, Zong he would be his own vegetable self, and Tang Wan would catch up to his cutie, show off his cub, and continue to amass wealth. He was already sitting in the cafe where he would meet the cutie. He had specially chosen this place, it was elegant, quiet, and luxurious with an ambiguous mood. It was especially suitable for a date. His brain was filled with the countless images of when they would finally meet. After the cutie becomes a beast, a tiny, furry ball of fuzz, he could hold him in the palm of his hand, and would cry out as he pinched it. How lovely, Tang Wan arrived at this world a year ago. This was a world in which beast men and humans coexisted, already surpassing Earth's civilization by thousands of years. The Sodot called beast men were humans during peacetime. In battle, they could take the form of an animal. They would be able to act as one, and would become very powerful. And humans, some of whom had awakened their powers, could synchronize and fight with mechs if they were strong enough. The two races lived together in harmony, Tang Wan didn't have any of the original's memories. Except for the crescent dot shaped birthmark on his shoulder, he knew nothing of his body's past. Because of his genetic compatibility, 
he was forced to marry once he was at the marriageable age, without any consideration of his personal rights. After being successfully matched by the Star Network, the marshal's old housekeeper had to take his marshal's wife to the mansion. All Tang Wan knew about the legendary marshal was that he had a good dot looking face and the legends of his invincibility from the internet. Anything else, he knew nothing about. For a whole year, Tang Wan accompanied an unconscious, lifeless person. One was slumbering, one was busy making money, their relationship was exactly like a duck's egg. After thousands of years of evolution, Earth's energy depletion had long been abandoned to the corners of the Milky Way. The migrant humans gained powers, and the animals brought in at that time evolved tremendously after being exposed to the galaxy's radiation. Hens evolved into giant creatures more than two meters tall, with attack power off the charts. Cute pets only lived in textbooks. When Tang Wan came to this world, he activated the Earth Pet System, and with a group of fuzzballs, conquered over 10 billion of the future's people in one year. He became the most popular star in the galaxy, and earned enough money to live freely after his divorce. Far away from the dignitaries of Beta Ursi Minoris, Tang Wan wanted to grow flowers, raise cats, walk dogs, feed rabbits, and live quietly behind closed doors, just when he saw the cutie coming, he was caught by the guards. Tang Wan didn't understand, why did the vegetative person he had come to an agreement with suddenly open his eyes, zone he glared at Tang Wan angrily, opened his mouth, and gritted his teeth, you want to leave this much. Tang Wan snorted, what is this fucking bullshit? Were they familiar with each other? For what reason did he marry him? He was an upstanding man, did he not have enough money to eat or buy a house? He could find a cutie and have a good time, why should he remain a widow to a vegetative person for life? At that moment, Zong he opened his terminal and found the email with the divorce application. In front of Tang Wan's big, hopeful eyes, he slowly clicked on the X, Tang Wan's breath stopped and his head buzzed. He looked at the vase standing on the wall and subconsciously picked it up. He just wanted to knock him unconscious, see if his heart isn't black. They had no feelings, why couldn't he let him go? All of his fantasies were chopped off by this bastard's ex zone he was livid, and angrily wanted to stand up, it's not enough that you made me wear a green hat, you also want to kill your husband. The guard's heart burst, and he wanted to rush up. Lin Bo grabbed with one hand and pulled him back. The captain kept the mentality of a cheerful onlooker with a bunch of melon seeds, got nothing to do on a rainy day, might as well. What are you doing, blindly meddling in a couple's affairs? When Tang Wan heard this, he took a deep breath and threw the vase at the wall with red eyes. With a pa, the vase smashed into several pieces. Only then did Tang Wan calm down and he turned his head to leave, Lin Bo secretly reminded him, Marshal, that was your favorite vase. Zong he looked at it coldly and said, by another identical one. At this time, the military doctor came over and saw Tang Wan standing outside of the door, breathing deeply. He was surprised and asked, for him. Are you not feeling well? Tang Wan let out a long sigh. Under these circumstances, he could only consider carefully before deciding on what he could do. There were laws protecting military marriage and Zong he had such a status. The other party did not want to divorce. No matter how he tossed about, it would be useless. Tang Wan's face sank. He said politely to the military doctor, it's nothing, you've worked hard. After he walked two steps away, Tang Wan stopped and asked the housekeeper, Lin Bo, where is De Zhuang? If there was anything in the marshal's mansion that he didn't want to give up, it was the little milk cat that had accompanied him all this time. The housekeeper said that it was a beast tiger with a wounded soul, so it wouldn't grow big, Tang Wan loved cats. His heart and soul were snatched away at first sight, and Tang Wan nicknamed him, De Zhuang. He had raised him for a year as his darling baby, walking and hugging, sleeping and coaxing, and was reluctant to let him suffer the smallest grievance. The child hadn't grown in the slightest this year. Even now, he hadn't seen the child recover. Tang Wan was full of regret. Tang Wan couldn't see that, because of his question, 
Zong He's eyes flashed. Sitting on the bed, Zong He unnaturally turned his head away from the window, Lin Bo looked at his marshal's determined face and refused to confess. He sighed helplessly, after you left, the young master's parents took him away. Away. Tang Wan turned around, his heart dripping blood. He asked anxiously, why did he leave before he recovered? At the thought of the other party being taken away by their parents, Tang Wan had nothing to say. With a heavy heart, he said, forget it, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Lin Bo worriedly looked at Tang Wan's departing back, bleak and desolate, like he had lost his spiritual support. He looked at Zong He in encouragement, who only gave a cold hum. Tang Wan wanted to divorce him and he still had to pull down his face to coax him. When he returned to his room, Tang Wan fell head first onto his bed. The divorce didn't go through, his freedom was gone, and De Zhuang left. A year ago, because of a car accident, he died and inexplicably came to this strange futuristic world. He climbed out of a garbage dump and relied on his own abilities to solve the problem of food and clothing. Then, he was inexplicably married to a vegetable. This type of psychological stress was not normal. At the time, it was only thanks to De Zhuang's company that Tang Wan could quickly stand up and devote himself to a new life. Now that De Zhuang left, Tang Wan was empty and lonely, poking and poking and poking at the pillows. The days without De Zhuang, why should he bother? He opened his terminal and watched the black and gold dumplings staring back at him. Tan Wan's eyes were hot and his heart was blocked, when you grow up, you'll surely forget about me, H.M. Tang Wan touched the kitten's golden eyes and the fur that had been puffed up with vigor. He believed that the child was the marshal's illegitimate son. The bad temper, aggression, scowling face, and the way that they looked at people were all the same, there were no pet dot like cats in this world. De Zhuang was a beast cub, and Lin Bo said that he was a tiger. At first, Tang Wan didn't believe him. He had been a pet shop owner in his last life. The cats that he had numbered, if not 10,000, then 8,000. Whatever breed of cat it was, whatever it looked like when it grew up, he could draw it with his eyes closed. This kitten was a tiger. Tang Wan laughed and did not refute him. There hadn't even been a character on its head, and the color of its coat wasn't right either. From his perspective, it was clearly a rare black and gold highland, absolutely competitive in appearance. When he grew up, he would be incredibly handsome, but as he was still small, he was just a ball of long, wild, and fuzzy fur. Right now, there was no handsomeness, only Meng. Wonderfully Meng. Later, Tang Wan learned that the reason for this appearance was that he was not in good health. De Zhuang could not shift bodies, couldn't speak, and had low spiritual strength. So, Tang Wan spent a lot of effort raising him and gave him only the best. But he was not his own child, and De Zhuang was raised in vain. Tang Wan's heart was bitter. I in the other room, after the military doctor left, Zhong He's body suddenly disappeared without a trace. The small bump bulged from under the quilt and arched and wiggled like a little meatball. He finally reached the bedside, rolled down from the bed, and fell onto the floor with a thump. It was a black and gold fuzzy dumpling. The fuzzy little dumpling was evidently dissatisfied with falling out of bed. He looked at his tender paws. The cat's golden eyes were full of anger, and he furiously raised his claws and fiercely grabbed the sheets. With an audible rip, the sheet was torn several times. Only then did the little milk cat stride out with a dignified air. Looking from behind, the fur on his back trembled as he walked that I in fact, zone he had long reached his marriage period. Before, when he was in good health, he used his privilege and rejected it. After sustaining injuries, even when he returned to his human form, he didn't have enough spiritual power to awaken. There was no way for him to refuse marriage. He could only move in an animal dot like, juvenile form, zone he made his way to Tang Wan's door. As proud as he was, he was accustomed to controlling everything himself, but his partner couldn't make his own choice. When he was helpless and couldn't resist, the Star Network gave him a partner. 
They spent a year together, day and night, eating and sleeping together. He was moved, but Tang Wan wanted to divorce him. Who wouldn't be angry, looking at Tang Wan, who was in a state of despair, Zong he wiggled his tail impatiently. In the Endi Empire, men and women were married according to their status. When Tang Wan came, he was only twenty years old, but was still married off. Zong he took a deep breath and looked at his small face. There was nothing to coax. When people are being stared at, they would feel it, especially when they were stared at by a person with a strong presence. Tang Wan turned around, as if he felt something. He couldn't see anyone, but then, he saw his little milk cat standing in the corridor looking at him, De Zhuang. Tang Wan sat up in surprise, didn't you leave? Zong he huffed and walked over in tiny steps. If his fur quickly fluffed up, it definitely wasn't to make Tang Wan a little happier. No one in the world can spoil you like me. Do you still dare to divorce? The author has something to say, Tang Wan. I dare. Zong he. No. You don't dare. New project. Updates tentatively set for about once or twice a week while I see how I juggle it with MCEA that I think people's reaction can best be summed up by Vreeth, it's so cute, I'm going to die of cuteness. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.